Hello everyone, George Trapato here, winemaker at Cinnabar Winery, but you know that. I'm here today with Laura Ness. Laura is a freelance wine writer located in Los Gatos. Laura, tell us a little bit about what you're doing these days. Well, I like to write about the uh, wines of the Santa Cruz Mountains in particular, but I don't stop there. I, I write about wines from all over California pretty much. And I also get the opportunity to judge in some wine competitions, which is really fun because that gives me an opportunity to see what my fellow judges think of wines and we get to talk about them and I get to learn about different regions and every day is a new experience. Well, thank you for joining us today. Thanks for having me. So Laura and I will be tasting our 2011 Sorcerer's Stone. Sorcerer's Stone is primarily Zinfandel, but it also has small amounts of Petite Syrah and Toraldigo. So Laura, let's give it a try. Sounds good too. That smells definitively like Zen. It does. Kind of that raspberry. Mm, blackberry. Blackberry. Baking in the field and get the dusty on the blackberry. Mm, and then yes. that, that blackberry pie just yes. as the oven comes out. It you. does. Like, mm. yeah, it's, it's like almost like a confection almost. The blackberry, uh, the filling of a blackberry mm -hmm, pie. Yeah. And some baking spice. A little, yeah. little bit of uh, like a nutmeggy like, like clove. Nutmeg clove. Yeah. yeah. And and from the petite sera, I think I'm I'm getting a bit of blueberry now. I don't know anything about uh, Toraldigo, so you're gonna have to tell me. Yeah, Toraldigo is a northern Italian variety and it's really is a very soil, soy, mm. dark fruit, black fruit, this okay. deep brooding mm. wine, loamy. Yeah. So it really doesn't contribute a lot of fruit. Contributes more of this earthy depth structure. Yeah, structure. Yeah. Is it big and tannin? It's big and tannin, okay. and it does really well with zinc. Cause zinc sometimes lacks tannin. Yeah. And it really builds a lot of body into the wine, and that's what I love about the small amounts of Toraldigo. Where'd you find the Toraldigo? Toraldigo, actually, I think it was a suitcase importation <laughs> planted in the Central Coast, actually in Gilroy. Oh. And uh, interesting varietal. I've made it on its own. But I find that it's very similar to Petite Syrah, that it works well in Zinfandel. As a blender. As, a blender. as, as that, well, I like to say, that cushion under the rug. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So well, it's... Let's uh, taste it. Mm. Mm. Oh, wow. That's a take-no-prisoners wine. <laughs> it's a whole-throttle style Zinfandel. It is. It's, uh, it's about 15.5 alcohol. Mm -hmm. But I don't get heat and the aromas. No, it does. It doesn't knock the flat. On no, the nose. but you can feel the alcohol oh, is there. Oh, it's there. It's, <laughs> it's there. there. And I, I, I love the, the name of the wine. The Sorcerer's Stone it just conjures up this idea of, of obsidian, this blackness, mm. and I, I get that that blackness. So it's like a really dark, dark coffee um, in in the in the mouth, and again that that baked pie. It yes. really has that like like you said, confection only. Not a, you know, sweet, sweet confection, but a really just really fruity baked fruit confection. Yeah. Which it, is really nice. With a nice sort of underpinning of acidity in it. Oh, it's, yeah, it's, it keeps, it's chewy. There's a chewiness and that zinniness, that zin that always leaves your palate with this, like, that little trailer that goes, I am zin, <laughs> I have been here. Yeah. It, and, and I think it adds to the finish of the wine. Mm, so it's very long. Even though it's a very ripe wine. And I mm. think there's a lot of complexity as far as the fruit, the spice, the earth, the loam. Um, I think these components come together fairly harmoniously. Um, I, I don't see a lot of sort of conflict of, of the no. elements. And, and they're well integrated already. I don't get that feeling of I taste this, then I taste this, and right. I taste that. Right, right. It's a, it's a union. Like when, when you're eating a, a pie that has all these things going on, including a little dusting of like mm -hmm. a cinnamon crumb topping maybe. Maybe there's some nuttiness on the finish here. Yeah, that's, that's a like, good way of putting like it. A, like a toasted walnut. I think that could almost come from the ripeness. You know, sometimes, right, maybe you know, may, uh, I don't know if the analogy works, but sometimes port gets that nuttiness. I agree. I, so, I agree. Yeah. Um, rich mouthfeel, mm -hmm. I think we're getting lots of spice. Baking spice, blueberries, mm -hmm. blackberries, sort of a, a almost a br uh, briary style. Briary, definitely. Yes. You can you can say brambly. <laughs> <laughs> so this wine was aged 19 months in 30% new French oak barrels. Mm. It was a wine that after we fermented primarily on the skins, we put it to barrel. It fermented an additional 15 months in barrel, wow. just the slow perking. Mm. Um, 
and I think it really added to the complexity of the wine. So uh, it's just turned into this really interesting wine. I, I didn't know where it was going to go in the mm. beginning because it was fermenting so slowly. Was that the Zin all by itself fermenting, or did you all have by itself? It? So it's not all a by itself. It wasn't and a co-ferment. You, you added the Petit Sirah and the Terrell. They go to just kind of give it a little more plush. Right, depth. a little more body. As as it was aging, we blend a little Petit Sirah into it, and then kind of like cooking, mm. you wait a minute and taste it, and uh, and I think it it was just the right amount mm. to sort of elevate the fruit of the Zin yet to keep sort of the integrity of the, of the fruit itself, the Zin quality. Absolutely, it loses none of the Zin character, but it definitely adds something richer and, and mm. more uh, mouth-filling than I would, than I would Zin agree. on its own, especially for 2011. <laughs> yeah. So it's, it's a youthful wine. I think it's drinking nicely, but certainly a few more years of cellar aging would really quite improve it. Thank you, Laura, for coming Absolutely. today. Cheers. Pleasure. Cheers.